Hello learners of all ages, my name is Mr. McGowan. I teach fourth and fifth grade math, and today we're gonna to be learning about reciprocals. Now, reciprocals have a special definition, meaning that if we have a fraction, we multiply it times something to equal one. And usually you flip the numerator and the denominator of a fraction to find what that reciprocal is. So for example, I have seven over two. Well, the reciprocal of seven over two would be two over seven. If I multiply, seven or seven over two times two over seven, I should get the answer of one. So seven times two is 14 and seven or two times seven is 14. 14 over 14 equals one, which means seven over two times two over seven. Those two fractions are reciprocals of one another. So it's our job in this lesson to find reciprocals of certain fractions. And we can even do that with mixed fractions. Our book gives us an example of two and a half. Well, we can use that check mark method to turn it into an improper fraction. So remember, multiply going down, add going up. Two times two is four, four plus one is five, five over two. That's our original fraction. Now, what would be the reciprocal of five over two? Well, I would flip the numerator and the denominator to different positions. The two would go on the top now, and the five would go to the bottom. If I multiply those two together, I would get the answer of one. So my answer would be two over five is the reciprocal. You might see a problem like this on your work. Z times three equals one. Now we know when it comes to reciprocals, they always equal one. So I need to change this whole number into a fraction. I'm gonna have Z times, and for a whole number, I can put it over one to make it a fraction. Well, now I need to figure out what the reciprocal of three over one is. Well, I flip the numerator and the denominator around. So instead of three being on the top, three would be on the bottom. Instead of one being on the bottom, one will be on the top. Let's see. So one times three is three. Three times one is three. That equates to one. So Z equals one third. All right, my fifth grade friends. If we take a look at page 151, you will see that we're gonna be doing four practice problems today. Number two, 14, 19, and 27. For number two and 14, the directions say find the missing, sorry, find the value of the missing reciprocal in the multiplication sentence. So you're gonna be doing what we did on the previous problem to figure out what that missing variable is. For number 19 and number 27, you're just trying to find the reciprocal of that number. You're trying to flip the numerator and the denominator uh, for number 27, make sure you use the check mark method in order to turn it into an improper fraction, then flip the numerator and the denominator. If you have any questions on reciprocals, please let me know when you come to class tomorrow.